And now, well, we can use this now just to cross over because Scissor Man's gone. So he's not. Go I don't think he comes out of the fountain again for a second time. You can just use it as a shortcut to get from one side of the castle to the other. Whatever the hell it is, anyway. Now uh, back to where Beth and that is. I think, anyway. Yeah. And we have to go back up here. Now we have to go back up here because we have to use the flashlight on the fireplace because it's in this fireplace. Do not use that fireplace key that Harris gives you because that's like the C ending and we don't want that one. It's quicker to finish the game but it's um not the good ending. We're going for the A. Oh no, the batteries are dead. Now it sucks that you can't do that when we find the key, the mouse hole key, because uh, that would save a lot of time. Like I instantly could have just done that and then we go and get the batteries near Nolan, which I'm about to show you now. But you have to find out that there's something in the fireplace before you can click on it, so um, whatever. They did it to make it longer and more, more hard, more hard. Is this the door that has it? Yeah, there we go. Ugh. Once again, just keep pressing the panic button or whatever. If you do that with Scissor Man chasing you, I think he falls off. And I don't know how the hell he'd survive it. But he's immortal, so... Okay, time to get to Nolan. Now to get to Nolan, we have to use the mansion key. It doesn't show up in our, in our inventory, inventory, but it's done like this. Sorry, I just thought of something else, but it's all right. Yeah, we've used the key to the Barrow's mansion. And I think that's the only time you use it, but... Eh. She keeps it. And Nolan is in this coffin. The cement one. <gasps> Nolan, what happened? Yes. So I'd grab 40 wings. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. ow. Somebody attacked me from behind. They sensor out dam. Oh, poor Nolan. Are you alright? Have you found her? No, not yet. That's okay. I'll help you look. No, you won't. We'll find her. By we, he means you. Ah, oh, coffee. Okay, now this is where we a mini tape recorder is on the floor. Oh, there should be batteries in it. This is where we get the batteries from. Apparently they are the right size. You now have batteries. Oh good, they'll fit in the flashlight. Now we can go back and get the the spell. There is a cloth sack inside. What's this? It's really heavy. It's lead balls about the size of baseballs. You now have the lead balls. Great, we got balls. How surreal! And there's there's another door that's like that, but I don't think you can use that to escape Scissor Man. I've tried it before and it wasn't clickable. Chemicals and laboratory equipment on the shelves. There is nothing useful here. I think that is a way to defend against Scissor Man. You throw chemicals in his eyes, or I think, I think. It's been years since I've played this. Like only about eight years or something. <laughs> But I still remember this part pretty good. I remember all the parts pretty good because I played it so many times. And, uh, yeah. We just want to get that spell now. 
and then we can move on. We haven't heard from Scissor Man since before. Go, so click on the the flashlight again. Yay! Don't do it twice. Only once. There's a note stuck inside. It's in Latin. Words to open door. Nah, Words to open door. Maybe these words can be used to exercise scissor man. You now have door spell. Hurrah! Don't click on it twice to look inside the chimney, the fireplace. If you do, something drags Heather up and strangles her. I don't know if it's supposed to be Scissor Man or if it's some spooky... I don't know, like a demon in there or something, but yeah. He's got that only once. Uh, what am I going for? Right. It will not open. I don't know if you ever get in there. Oh, that's that leads. That's uh, Gots is behind that door, but you have to unlock it from the other side. I remember now. Might be able to reach him from here. Yeah, Gots is in there. Ah, it will not open. Oh, that's right, you've got to, um, I think you can only reach him through the tunnels. So we have to use our lead balls. You have to find it where that is. Let's see if I remember, shall we? <clears throat> no, that leads down, so we're on the stairs. Um, I think we've got to stay up. Pretty sure it's on the second floor. Yeah, we don't need to get down to the first one. Run, run, run. I'm still experimenting with this video, trying to get PlayStation 1 and 2 games to look great, so... It opened! I love how she yells things out like that. So if the game, the videos aren't full screen and good looking, well, they will eventually. I'm still. Ah, this is a freaky room. This one. I don't know. It's just that fire, the roaring of it. There's some books carved, and you know, take the dry path when choosing among the three. I wonder what this means. It's pretty obvious what it means soon. <coughs> Someone has been reading some books about demonology. I don't think there's anything else we're in. Some unknown cryptic symbols. I wonder who lit the fire. I don't think it was Scissor Man. I don't know, one of our people just got cold. The flames have stopped moving. Look at that. Freaky. Okay, so we've got a few things to do in this room. First thing is this, letterbox is on the shelf. I wonder if there is something inside. There is something inside. And you grab that. Small wooden boxes inside letterbox. Strange, it sounds like something is in this box, but there is no way to open it. There's a rattling sound, but there's no way to take the object out. Now I have the wooden box. Okay, there is a way to get it out, and it's easy. You just gotta throw it in the fire. Get the wooden box in the fire. Of course, I could burn away the small outer box. Like, duh. The wooden box burns away. There is something inside. 
<clears throat> the key was inside the small box, you now have the cosmetic key, which is very important. You'll see why. Might be in half an hour's time, but... Uh, yeah, this is where the copper book comes into play. you got to examine the scratches. There's some scratch marks on the floor made by something heavy being dragged across it. There are many books with covers made of sheet copper. There is one missing. You know what to do now. And it moves. And this should lead to the paths, the tunnels, which then leads to gods. Yep. Okay, so only one of these is dry. The other two are full of water, and if you go down the ones full of water, you drown. How far it goes, so we have to test them. I should probably test it. Now I drop the little ball down the shaft. So if there's water, no go. Oh, look at that, it was dry, first go. Doesn't seem deep, though. Well, that's the one we're going to go down. It's always usually the last one for me. The last one you try. A deep shaft. Down we go. Climbing a ladder to hell. Anyways, this should lead to Gotzi. There he is. So this is where it leads to. Sitting in a big pile of bones. Yo, teach. <laughs> What's oh, up? You're alive. Hey, what do you mean by that? I mean, you're alive. Where is everyone? You're not dead. Aren't they with you? Obviously not. Scissor Man attacked us and we all scattered. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. What do we do now, Teach? We've got to keep looking. There has to be a way to kill Scissor Man here somewhere. You have to talk to him three times because you've got to get something from him. I love this slow dialogue. It's just wonderful. That's why he's trying so hard to get in our way. He hasn't tried that hard. He's only yeah. come after me once. Then take this with you. And that's because I purposely went after him. It might be useful. A gun, goody. A pistol? What about you? It's okay. I've got another. Well, I want that one too. So that too, I look cool. Yes, I've had some training. That means you're an amateur. God, people just love commenting you in this game. You're told that Scissor Man's gonna kill you, anyway, not them. You're an amateur, yeah. You... God, hurry up with the dialogue. Go. Huh. Thank you. Mm. Uh. This is probably going to be the creepiest part of the game. What was that? All the kids that Scissor Man murdered. Just what you thought you saw. Ghosts. Pretty sad, really. Probably the ghosts of all the kids killed here. How killed here? I don't like Gotts' voice. Scissor Man, I ain't scared of no ghosts. <laughs> I ain't afraid of no ghost. Ghostbusters! Obviously you're not too afraid, you're sitting in a big pile. <laughs> anyway. 
Yeah, you gotta talk to God three times, get the gun, and we're ready to rock and roll now. We are seriously, I think we're finished. Uh, you may think you need to find a key for this room, which is what I always thought when I first played this, but you don't. You get the gun and you shoot the padlock off. Oh, Jennifer. Jennifer? Are you there, Jennifer? Helen? Helen? Jennifer! Oh, it's no use. The door won't open. Hold on, Jennifer, I'm coming. Once again, click on it. Bang! She shoots it off. The padlock came undone. Uh, get the pistol ready right now. Because you only have a few seconds if you want to save Jennifer. From, uh, impending doom. I like this part. The music and everything. <gasps> She's being crucified. <laughs> what should I do? Shoot him! That's why I got the gun out. You only have about two seconds or something to do it. Oh, right in the guts. That hurt him. Did it hit him? Jennifer! Okay, so we saved Jennifer. Now, even if she dies, it, it's not game over. Thank heaven you're still alive. You just don't get the best ending possible. Helen? It's okay now. I've got Scissorman cornered. Wait here. Okay, so let's go see Scissorman. The injured Scissorman. Hmm. Lovely church, by the way. My church is always scary. Okay, there's his master's blood. And it's Professor Barton. Professor Barton? Why? How could you? Alan, I told you when you first joined my seminar. There's a long dialogue cutscene in this one. It's so slow. There's always a danger of turning toward evil. When you are researching criminal behavior. I won't get on with it. Always remember that danger. What are you saying? It, it, it's ironic, isn't it? That I was drawn in by his evil soul. Helen, do you believe that you really have the strength to keep it from happening to you? <sighs> Can you really deny that you are involved in this case because you wanted to be Involved. <laughs> Maybe you too are attracted by the vast darkness. I, I'm not like you. Yeah, hey, you tell him, Alan. Uh, yeah, uh, die. Good. Unless we didn't kill him in one shot, we let him suffer a little bit, right in the kidneys or whatever. 
So basically what Professor Barton was saying is that because he researched Scissor Man for so long, he wanted to be Scissor Man. All right. It attracted him. She's okay. Psycho. No, it's not. It is not over yet. I think this is where the C or the B ending ends. They okay. say it is Professor Barton, or the D ending. But we're not getting that the one. The professor said he was drawn in by his evil soul. His. In other words, the real Scissor Man is still alive. It's not over until he is dead. <clears throat> Gods, please stay with Jennifer. What about you? I'm going to take another look around. I'm going to find the real Scissor Man. No. Dot dot dot. I see. Be careful. Helen. I'll be all right. Of course you'll be all right. You got me controlling you. Okay, we have to go straight back into this room and in here. Now, I know Scissor Man can come out from here sometimes. At least if you use the fireplace key, he does. If you use the fireplace key, uh, what door is it? Might be this one or the next one. Well, that's to be one of them, but it might be this one. Nah, wrong one. I don't think there's really anything in here. Um... If you do the fireplace key that Harris gives you, you will come out in this room. And then Scissor Man comes after you. You know, he comes out, you come out from behind the coat rack there. And Scissor Man follows you. It's had it in Frayed Bible. But you also lose the gun. And when you lose the gun, you can't save. Is locked or not open? You can't save Jennifer. Here's where the cosmetic key comes in. It came open. A piece of paper is inside. This, this is a sketch of the mansion. A passage is drawn under the fountain. You now have the map. Great, so now we know there's a secret. And that's where Scissor Man's hiding. Religious robes are hanging on the rack. They're all covered with dust. Goody. Go. Okay. On home stretch. Let's finish this. I'm coming, Scissor Man. And we've only ran into him once. That's quite disappointing. I remember I used to run into him heaps of times. Probably just because I was too slow and didn't know where anything was. Hmm. Uh, and from what I can understand, I think you can still get the A ending, but you can have everyone die, except Jennifer sort of thing, and Gots. So that might be interesting. A door-like opening appears at the bottom of the fountain. Now, to examine the fountain, you have to click... the next tree, the second one to the right. There's a drain valve on the ground. If the map is right, there should be a passage underneath the fountain. And there is. Gives it away since Scissorman comes out from the fountain anyway. You know, when he started chasing us. The drain opens and the water disappears. Down we go, as we get to the ending. Yeah, look at the moo. Good -o. Now there's a storm coming. I hate friggin' storms.
Well, actually, I like them, but the power always goes out already. Ah, look at that. Killed K. Who do you think it is? That voice. I didn't think you'd get this far, Helen. That's Edward? it. Edward's the real scissor man. That is Edward's voice? You... He's actually Denny. You're the murderer? Let's play, Helen. <laughs> So if you're wondering how it happened, um, in the first game, this is how you end it. You've got to quickly grab the statue and put it on this altar. There's a hole about 30 centimeters wide. And that's it. That's the end. So in the first original for the Super Nintendo, um, Denny was a monster. Jennifer burnt him and then... And uh, D Danny has reincarnated as the boy. So that's who Edward is, Danny. And this is it. Gods. I'm not out to shoot him. Oh god, the suspense is killing me. Come on. You're gonna be dead before you. Hey, goodbye, scissor man. Happy days. This is the ending. No reason to get upset, is there, Teach? I don't think we can make it. I am certain Jennifer is still alive. Hey, someone's there. Jennifer? She runs. Helen? Jennifer. Jennifer! You're alive! Helen! Oh. It'd be funny if it was Scissor Man in there alive. Helen! Helen. Oh, happy days. Everyone lived. I said, I don't know about Harrison that. Yeah, and that's the end. I think it's credit time. Yep. Okay, so final thoughts on Clock Tower. Um, in my opinion, this is this is a great game. Um, it's a classic. Uh, and I know it seems cheesy and really out of date now, but they don't really make games like this anymore. I mean, this this focus purely on you know escaping and stuff like that if you can hear that storm jeez it's annoying but it used things like that it didn't focus on stuff like today it seems like video game developers think that violence is horror and it's not there's nothing scary about pulling out a bazooka and blowing up heaps of zombies and mutants and that uh, and even though they might be a bit better than this now uh, if they remade this or something or remade something like it uh, the closest thing we really have to it now is, I don't know, Silent Hill Shattered Memories was pretty good. Because it just focused on, you know, running away, survival. It didn't focus on fighting, combat. Uh, so yeah, I think this is a great game. Uh, and the fact that there are so many different endings, I think there's a total of, what, eight? Or something all up, there might be more. And that because there's like four or five or six or something for each person, so there's a fair few endings. Some of them only require you to do uh, the first two scenarios. So yeah, 
I mean, for its time, this was pretty scary too. It requires wit, it requires guts and all that good stuff. Uh, best place out of all of them. I don't know, I'm going to have to say that my favourite place really was just the first one. The first scenario, the university building, but uh, I think that was just because they put more in there, like, uh, you know, the security guards dead and rose and all that, so... Whereas in scenario 2 and 3, you didn't really get to see any of that kind of stuff, like people dead. It was like the start of a horror movie where the, you know, the star finds everyone killed all of her friends. So yeah. Anything else I want to mention? Oh, this is actually being remade. Oh no, the first one's being remade. The original for the Super Nintendo. It's I think it's only going to be for the Wii. Now that sucks because I'd love to get it for the PS3 or something. And it's uh, it's called Clock Tower Remod... What is it? Remothered. So I'd definitely check that out. I'm thinking about buying a Wii just for it. Anyway, this has been Tokyo Brando with my first PlayStation 1 Retro Let's Play and uh, plenty more to come. See yous.